Hello and welcome to another video for Excel users. Here we're looking at the average function in Excel and some of the different types of average you may or may not be aware of. One thing you probably are aware of is the standard average function which can also be called the mean where you add up a list of values, divide the total by the number of values and that gives you the average. And I can just quickly give you a reminder of that if I just type equals average open the bracket there, just click and drag down to select my values close parentheses, press enter and it tells me that the average score for those students is 68 sometimes when you're working with statistics you want a different type of average and there are two others that are commonly used in mathematics one of those is the median another is the mode and just for fun I'll also add on the range here as well so the median basically finds the middle value in a list of numbers and just like a regular function we type equals median again open the bracket there click and drag down to select the values close up the brackets press enter and we find the middle value is 65 the the middle number is the middle value when the numbers are arranged in that order so although 65 is the third one in the list, it is actually the middle value when the numbers are arranged in a numeric order. So if I just copy that list there, I'm just going to hold down the control key and drag across. There, I'm just going to sort that list. Excel gives me a warning. Continue with the current selection. And you will see on my sorted list that 65 is actually the middle value. So we'll come down and look at the mode function and the mode basically looks for the number that occurs most often in the list. Sometimes there is no number that occurs more than once but in this case we do have one for this example. So if we type equals mode, open the bracket there, click and drag down to select, and close the bracket, press enter and we find that 72 is the one that occurs most often. And finally the range now the range is the difference between the highest value and the lowest value now, that sounds easy but what if you don't know the highest value or the lowest value in the list for example if you have a large list or if you have to set up the formula in advance without knowing the values that might be entered there's a little trick and we can combine the max function and the min function to do what we want so we type equals max standard format for a function so select the range there, close the bracket, and then we subtract the min function. So it's min, open brackets, and I'm going to select the same range, obviously. Close that bracket, press enter. Come back and just have a look at that formula, the formula bar. So it's the max function and then the min function subtracted from it, basically. So regardless of what values are in that list, it will always find the highest and the lowest and subtract the lowest from the highest. Hopefully that makes perfect sense. So there we are, that's how you do the three types of average in Excel, the, the mean, median and mode. And as a bonus, you now know how to work out the range as well. So thank you for watching. Hope you found something there that was useful and I'll see you next time.